Here today, gone tomorrow, the state's plans to rip up heavy rail in Newcastle. After decades of talk, finally a decision. The city of Newcastle is to get a facelift. The state government has announced that it will tear down the heavy rail line separating the harbour from the city. The planning minister says the decision opens the way for 10,000 new jobs. But critics say that pulling down train stations is a backward step. Just as the Carl Expressway has been an unpopular barrier on Circular Quay, so too has Newcastle faced its own railway challenges. The city's new Lord Mayor says forcing pedestrians to walk over the track has strangled Newcastle's economy. Well, you can see the mess from yourself, the weeds, the grass. I call it the dingo fence separating our wonderful harbour from our city. The planning minister says that two stations will be decommissioned and a new transport interchange will be built further up the line. And understand this, that there will be better, improved public transport options, but there will be a change in the interchange. It will occur at Wickham. The government has committed $120 million to the project. That's just a fraction of the estimated cost. Developers will be asked to chip in as new high-rise apartment blocks are built on moribund parts of the city to help fund it. We want you in Newcastle, we want you building, we want you providing the services and the opportunities for the people of the Hunter. The opposition says tearing up railway lines is a backward step. Global cities around the world to solve their public transport problems are introducing rail solutions. In Newcastle, Barry O'Farrell's going backwards, removing rail and putting in place buses. But the Lord Mayor can't wait to see the 2.4 kilometre track retired. Four people on that train and that's killing the city. The plans are on display for comment until March. David Spicer, ABC News, Newcastle.